Welcome to AMU Heat. Setting up the AT6AW Wi-Fi floor heating thermostat to be accessed and controlled via an app on your smartphone or tablet is a simple process. The AT6AW thermostat requires a strong and stable Wi-Fi connection on a 2.4 GHz channel. So before proceeding with this setup, ensure your modem is set up to broadcast on the 2.4 GHz channel and make a note of your password, which will be required during the setup process. Next, locate the QR code found on the first page of the AT6AW operating guide or in this video to download and install the app on your smartphone or tablet device. Once installed, you can go ahead and open the app. A pop-up menu will ask you to enable location tracking. To enable all features of the app, like current weather, click Allow while using the app. You will need to register an account using either your mobile number or email address. After entering this information, press the Get Verification Code button to receive a verification code via SMS or email, depending on registration selection. After you have entered the verification code, you will be prompted to create a password. You are now on the home screen. To register the thermostat to your account via the app, you will need to be standing next to your thermostat to complete this process. Let's begin by turning your thermostat on. To do this, simply slide the button down on the right side of the thermostat. Note the on-screen Wi-Fi indicator should be blinking rapidly. Now looking at your app on your smartphone or tablet device, click the Add a Device button to pair your thermostat. For the AT6AW, select the Wi-Fi thermostat option. At the bottom of the screen, select the Confirm Indicator Rapidly Blink button. If the Wi-Fi indicator on the thermostat is blinking slowly, press both the up-down arrow together and hold until the screen display changes to F01. Then press the Confirm key, which should activate the correct pairing mode setting for this setup demonstration. You will now be prompted to select your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network and enter your Wi-Fi password. Enter your Wi-Fi password and allow a few seconds for the app to search and connect to your Wi-Fi network. Once the device has been added successfully, you can edit the name of your thermostat by clicking on the pencil icon. In this example, we are setting up the living room thermostat, so that's what we'll be naming it. Once you've changed the name, press Save. Let's move on to the next step by pressing the Done button at the bottom of the screen. This is the home screen of your thermostat. Let's take a look at some of the features. The top circle displays your current floor temperature. Just below the top circle tells you what mode setting your thermostat is set to. In this example, it is on Smart Mode. There are three mode options. To change the mode setting, press the mode icon at the bottom of the screen. Anti-frozen mode. This mode sets the thermostat to run at a low temperature setting indefinitely. Anti-frozen mode is best suited in colder climate areas where floor freezing needs to be prevented by keeping the floor at a minimum of 5 degrees Celsius temperature. To activate the anti-frozen mode, simply select that option. You are now back at the home screen and anti-frozen mode is activated. Let's take a look at the next two mode options. Manual mode. Manual mode is best used if you prefer to manually control your floor heating. To select manual mode, press the mode icon button at the bottom of your screen. Then select manual mode. You are now in manual mode. To adjust the temperature, you can slide the red circle to the left or right to your preferred temperature or simply press the plus or minus button to increase or decrease to your desired temperature. The last mode option is Smart Mode. This is the recommended setting for the thermostat to operate to a programmed time and temperature schedule to suit your pattern of use. To set up your thermostat in Smart Mode, press the Mode button at the bottom of the screen and select Smart Mode. Next, to set up the thermostat parameters and program the heating schedule for Smart Mode operation, press the Settings icon on the bottom left of your screen. The first setting option is Sensor Selection. The default and recommended option is the Floor Sensor, which should be installed in the floor to measure your floor temperature. 
Other options which can be selected are room in sensor, which measures the air temperature surrounding the face of the thermostat. Both in sensors. This is the room in sensor and floor sensor working together. Room out sensor, used for when a remote sensor is required. Both out sensors. Room out sensor and floor sensor. In this example, we will select the default option, floor sensor. The next menu option is Room Temp Calibration. This feature allows you to adjust the temperature detected by the built-in sensor and has a range of negative 5 degrees to 5 degrees Celsius. This only requires adjustment when the room sensor is selected and a discrepancy exists between actual room temperature and temperature measured by the inbuilt sensor. The default is zero. As we have chosen the floor sensor option, we are leaving this at zero degrees Celsius. The next menu option is the floor temp calibration. The floor temp calibration feature allows you to adjust the temperature detected by the sensor installed into the floor and has a range of negative five degrees to five degrees Celsius. This only requires adjustment when the floor sensor is selected and a discrepancy exists between actual floor temperature and the temperature measured by the floor sensor. The default is zero degrees. To make changes, select the parameter and press the confirm button. In this example, we are leaving this at the default zero degrees Celsius. The next menu option is floor temp limit. This feature limits the temperature to the floor being heated. This is typically set when the room and floor sensor option is selected or where heating is installed beneath flooring that is sensitive to heats above 27 degrees Celsius like timber and vinyl flooring. If you are not sure whether a floor temperature limit is required for your floor finish type, please check with the flooring manufacturer on the best temperature limits they recommend. The default is 35 degrees. And in this video, we will set the temperature limit to the maximum 35 degrees, which is suitable for heating under tiles, stone and concrete floors. The next menu option is Located in Function. This option preloads schedule settings most common to home or office environments. Simply press the Located in menu and select your preference. In this example, we will be selecting the home setting. Moving on to the next menu, Used for function. There are two options, heating or cooling mode. As we are programming for underfloor heating, we will leave this at the default heating option. The next menu option is Adaptive Function. When enabled, after just a few days, the Adaptive Function will automatically calculate how much earlier the heating must be turned on ahead of each program event to reach the set temperature of that specific event. For most residential applications or where energy efficiency is preferred, the Adaptive Function should be turned off. Incorrectly configured time and temperature settings on thermostats running in adaptive mode can result in higher running costs. The next menu option is Schedule. Schedule allows you to set the preferred weekly program setting to be either 5 plus 1 plus 1 days or 7 individual days. The 5 days being Monday through to Friday and a separate Saturday and Sunday program to suit your pattern of use. To choose your preference, Press the schedule and choose your preferred option. In this example, we will be choosing the 5 plus 1 plus 1 option. Let's move on to the next menu option, Event Setting. The event setting controls how your thermostat is run when in smart mode. Press the event setting to program the days. You will notice Monday through to Friday highlighted at the top of your screen. Now let's program the Monday through to Friday events. There are four event settings for the day. The first option is Wake. This represents the first event for the day or morning event setting. This first event is the time your floor heating will turn on for the day. To set the first event, press the pencil icon. Now select your preferred time. In this example, we are choosing 5.30 a.m. Then select your desired temperature. In this demonstration, we are setting the temperature to 28 degrees Celsius. Once selected, press the Confirm button at the bottom of your screen. The second event of the day is the Leave event. This second event for the day is the time the heating turns off or when everyone leaves the house for the day. 
To program this event, press the pencil icon. Now select your preferred time. In this example, we are choosing 9am. Once set, adjust your preferred temperature. In this demonstration, we will set the temperature to 16 degrees Celsius. Once adjusted, press the confirm button at the bottom of the screen. The third event of the day is return event. This is the time your floor heating turns on for the evening. To program this event, press the pencil icon. Now select your preferred time. In this example, we are choosing 5.30 p.m. Once set, adjust your preferred temperature. In this example, we will set the temperature to 28 degrees Celsius. Now press the confirm button at the bottom of the screen. The fourth and final event of the day is sleep event. This is when the heating switches off around the time the last person retires for the night. To adjust the parameters, press the pencil icon. In this example, we are choosing 10.30 p.m. and changing the temperature to 16 degrees Celsius. Press the confirm button once selected. You have now programmed Monday through to Friday. Next, unselect Monday to Friday and then select Saturday and Sunday at the top of your screen to set the event settings for the weekend. Similar to Monday to Friday, let's begin the process of programming the weekend schedule. For the wake option, we will be setting the time for 6.30am when the floor heating will turn on for the day. Next is setting the temperature. In this video, we are setting the temperature to 28 degrees Celsius. Once selected, press the confirm button at the bottom of your screen. For the second option, the leave event, we will be setting the time for 10.30 a.m. This is the time when the floor heating will turn off for the morning. Once set, adjust your preferred temperature. In this video, we will set the temperature to 16 degrees Celsius. Now that both time and temperature are set, Press the confirm button at the bottom of the screen. The third event of the day is return event. In this video, we will be setting the time for 5.30 p.m. This is when the floor heating will turn back on for the evening. Once set, adjust your preferred temperature. In this example, we will set the temperature to 28 degrees Celsius. Once set, press the confirm button at the bottom of the screen. The fourth and final event of the day is sleep event. This is when the heating switches off around the time the last person retires for the night. In this example, we are choosing 11.30 p.m. and changing the temperature to 16 degrees Celsius. Press the confirm button once selected. Now that you have set the events for each day of the week, press the arrow at the top left of the screen to go back to the settings menu. The next menu option is called Total Power. Total power tells you how many kilowatts you have used per hour. If you know the wattage of your heating, you can enter this information by inserting the wattage of the heating installed for the zone. For example, if 1000 watts was installed into your bathroom, insert 1000 and press save. The last menu option is resetting your device. To reset your thermostat, press the reset device and follow the instructions. Resetting your device will return your thermostat to the factory default settings. You have now set up your first thermostat through your smart device. To set up your next thermostat for another room, simply add a device by pressing the plus icon at the top of the screen and follow the same steps you have just done with your previous thermostat. To personalize your account, click on the Me icon at the bottom of the screen and customize your app for your home. Troubleshooting Tips This app is only supported on a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi channel. All latest modems have both a 2.4 GHz and a 5 GHz channel. You will need to open the 2.4 GHz for the thermostat to connect. Please make sure your smartphone or tablet device is connected to your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network before starting the pairing process. If the Wi-Fi indicator on the thermostat is blinking slowly, Press both the up and down arrow together and hold until the screen display changes to F01. Then press the confirm key, which should activate the correct pairing mode setting for this setup demonstration. At any time, you can adjust the control settings directly on the thermostat, and these changes will sync to the app. That's it. Thank you for choosing AmuHeat.